Well, that was a movie. Um, I just got through watching Safe. It's a Jason Statham movie. Don't really know what else to say. As far as Jason Statham movies go, this one's not the best, like, crank. And it's certainly not the worst, like, Parker. I don't know, Parker was the last movie of his that I saw that I really couldn't fucking stand. I liked him in Expendables, I liked him in Crank, I, li I even liked him in War, and a lot of people really didn't care for that movie. I liked him in the Transporter series. I feel like Jason Statham has been sent here from, like, the 90s to be, like, our action movie star of today. And he's, he's good in action movies, he's good in British crime movies. He's not good in drama, but I've never seen him in drama. Or comedy. I don't know, the only thing I've ever seen him in is either British crime films or action films. But, anyway, we're talking about Safe. What can I say besides it's a Jason Statham movie? Just a basic rundown of the plot is he has to protect, as the trailer show, he has to protect this like, little Asian girl from the Chinese and the Russians and corrupt cops because she has like she has an eidetic memory and she has like uh, this number to like a safe in the city which the what makes this movie and some state the movies interesting is you always get a little bit more than what they show on the trailer there's always a deeper plot line here what's cool about this one is that Statham before this he was like a corrupt cop, but he wanted to make things right, so he became like a boxer, have himself like beat up in the ring. When he ends up losing, winning this fight, but he was supposed to lose it, he pisses off like the Russians, and they kill his wife, and they say, oh, if you establish connections with anyone else, we will kill them. So he's like a hobo for like the first 25 minutes of the movie until he meets this girl, and... Throughout the first 25 minutes, you find out that he happened to be, like, a police officer and to, like, rat out some, rat out these crooked cops, and I don't know if maybe they were protected by the mayor. It doesn't really go into details on, like, why uh, these crooked cops are still in the police force and even more crooked than they were, but they are. So Statham has to go protect this little girl from, like, these different organizations that are out to get her. Where this movie is good is in the first few action scenes. The gun battles, the hand-to-hand -hand you see Statham doing. It works. It's really good choreographed fight sequences and good gun action, too. The last movie I believe I saw with gun action is Boondog Saints, and that had really bad action scenes where it was just like, they stick like their hand out, it's like, boom, 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 like stationary. That doesn't work in my mind for action movies. It either has to be quick, moving, or like, like roaming in a big area, or just quick, like flash, like this movie does. There's like, one scene at the end where him and the crooked cops team up to take on like the the Japanese gang and you know, the, the, they're in this Japanese gambling house and they're just roaming through the entire facility and every now and then like like it'll show flashes of like gun executions like it's a roaming gun battles very quick cuts that is how gun battles in movies should play out at least in action movies Other than that, like, there's, I think, one hand-to-hand -hand fight scene with Statham where he was taking on, like, two guys in the subway. I don't know if this is in the trailer. Um, I really didn't see the trailer for this. This was always on my radar, but I've never gotten around to seeing it, and so I'd toss it on, do a quick little summary of it. Let's see what 
was kind of cool about the, what else was cool about this. Um, there's this, when he's fighting the guys on the subway, and I don't know why he has this nickname, but they call him Garbage Man. Um, because he picks up trash, I guess. That's, that's legitimately why they call him this, because, oh, you're the Garbage Man because you pick up trash. And then Statham has, like, this guy on the ground, like, holding him down. He's like, I'm not the Garbage Man because I pick up garbage because I take it out. And he just, like, executes this guy with his own gun. Like, it's, it's just cheesy Statham action. You can't really get better than that. Like, it, it, it works, but there's not a lot of action in this movie either. Like, it, it tries to play out the story of this girl, and they try to make you feel for her, which is weird because they never really explain that much about her. Like, she's a stereotype Asian. She's really, really fucking good at math. She gets kidnapped by these Asian, this, this Asian gang, and she's, like, moved over to America. But they never explain anything about her. Like, they make make it like, oh, she's this little girl, and she was, like, kidnapped by these people when she was so young, and... But it just doesn't... You don't really know anything about her, and you... She's not annoying, which is good, so you're not like, oh, I really hope she fucking dies at the end of this. She's so annoying. She's actually pretty tolerable, and... The most tolerable child character I've seen in a long time in an action movie, in all honesty. It's not like that annoying little kid in Cujo, or that was a horror movie, not an action movie, but I can't, eh, the, nah, the, I was thinking maybe the daughter in Commando, but she's only in, like, three or four scenes, and that film does a very good job of character building, whereas this one, it builds the other characters, the evil characters up pretty good, but doesn't really give you that much on, like, the, the girl, or anything like that, but, Another thing this movie does well, it's not revenge-focused. Like, the Russians are just a side note, and Statham very quickly disposes of them, which is weird, because I don't know why he didn't do this sooner. When you think of a Statham movie, you think of him, like, just getting revenge on people. Not... The movie really doesn't do that, which is interesting. Um, Statham, in this movie, his character also seems to be really good with numbers for some reason, but they never tell you that either. There's a scene where he's first talking to the girl and, like, wants to get settled down there in this motel, which they stole through credit card fraud, which it never explains how or why he's able to do that, but the logic of action movies. But they're in, they're in this mo motel room, and he's talking to the girl, getting her to open up a little bit, like, why were they after you, what's going on? She's like, oh, it was this long, complicated number. He's like, how do you know it's not a bunch of different numbers and not just one? And she explains, like, because the, the seven and three appeared a lot or whatever. He's like, oh, it might be. He somehow gets to, like, this logic that it's a safe combination, which it, it actually turns out to be. But just really long, convoluted logic as to that it's a safe combination. That was just... The stuff they don't explain in the characters just kind of bugs me. I know it's an action movie and you're supposed to, like, be along for the ride and not really care, but... It's sort of bothersome. Other than that... I don't know, if you like Statham, if you like action movies, you can certainly do worse than this, in all honesty. So, if everything goes well tomorrow, on Canada Day, it, there'll be a Transformers for review posted at the same time this one's being posted too. See you tomorrow.